All right, so we're doing a hem on a pair of sweatpants. Uh, thing about sweatpants is they're stretchy. So if you can, you want to do them the right way. And that takes a special machine. It's that cover stitch machine back there. So that's what we're going to use on this one. So the first thing we're going to do is mark where the length is. Customer did a nice job of taping them for us. I'll get rid of that. And that's five and a quarter inches. So I'm going to mark five and a quarter all the way around. Same thing on the other leg. And we're going to take these straight over to the cover stitch. The thing about the cover stitch is uh, we like to cut the excess fabric off after we sew it. Uh, so I'll show you that. But you can cut it off and fold it in and it's just easier to do it this way we find. So let's move over the cover stitch. All right, we're over to the cover stitch machine. And the thing about this machine is it's made for stretchy fabric. So anything that's stretchy, we put on this guy um, and the weird part about this one it seems a little off is you always stitch with the finished side on top um, these two needles uh, will create the two straight lines that you see like on the, the edge of your t-shirt um, so you'll, you'll sew it with the right side on top and this machine's got a servo motor so that's why you don't hear that motor running. It just runs when you push the pedal down. thread to loosen I'm going to turn the hand wheel backwards a stitch and that will get it off of the hook that's underneath of the under here there's one thread that's what it looks like on the top and then that's what it looks like on the bottom so that's one thread that's just weaving back and forth between those two top threads so there's a hook on the bottom that's hooking those two top threads and uh, the just the way it makes it makes it so that it can stretch and not break those two top threads. So we'll do the other leg. So one other thing you can pay attention to when you're doing hems, I always start on the inside of the pant leg, that not the outside, just so you don't see it when it's being worn. We got the uh, the hem done, and like we discussed before, I left the excess fabric off, and so I'm going to take that off now. So we get a relatively small pair of scissors. It seems to work better, so you don't cut through the front of the pants. You're just going to keep them right close to that hem and trim off the excess. All right, only thing I love to do is go press them. So when I press sweatpants, um, I don't, you don't need there to be a crease in there. So most pants you'd, you know, fold on the crease and press like this. With sweatpants, I like to open that up. And 
And even though this is a cover stitch, we charge the same. It's 14 bucks for a hem. So that was a pretty quick 14 bucks.